community heart and soul is a different way of running a town. It's a far more highly engaged citizenry by having it become embedded and then remain active in the community. The idea is start with what do the residents think and care about? What matters most to the residents of your town? We start the process by asking those questions and getting people to tell stories. And through that storytelling, we learn what's special about a town, and more importantly, they learn what's special about their town and what everybody thinks. So here, here is great because it involves everybody. In Bucksport, Maine, which has been a great success as Bucksport Heart and Soul, a man in the audience who was an elderly fellow stood up and said with his voice a little shaken, not from fear of speaking, but emotional. He said, you know, I've lived here all my life, and this is the first time anybody in this government has ever asked me what I thought. That is telling you something when somebody does that. And that is key, that people want to be asked what they think. People want to be engaged in the community. And one of the outputs of Community Heart and Soul, the data tells us, the number of volunteers increases dramatically. The number of people running for office or applying to serve on a board increases. We go into communities and say, we're not here to fix any problems you have. That's up to you to do. Community Heart and Soul will then position you to solve your own problems. Because why should I or anybody else think I know enough to come into your town and fix problems you're having? So we're guided by being neutral. We're not political. We don't take sides. We work for the betterment of the community through the residents in the community. And they work in conjunction with their government. Community heart and soul is what it is and will become what it can become because we have a staff of about a dozen folks. You hear about people jumping ship these days and taking one job after another, but I think they're staying on this one because it makes a difference and they know it makes a difference. And to be part of something that is gonna make a big difference in how the small cities and towns in America think about themselves, manage themselves, how the residents are more than just invited to an occasional meeting, but are fully engaged in the community. That's something that they are just as proud of as I am. And so thanks to all the staff and great work.